Hi, in this tutorial we will see how to manage recovery in HANA system. Now recovery is required in following scenarios. When you have a disk in the data log area that is unusable, the database needs to be reset to its most recent state at a particular point in time or to create a copy of the database. So let us see how to use recovery option in HANA studio. In this tutorial we will see how we can manage the recovery of the SAP HANA system. So to recover the SAP HANA database, the database need to be shut down. Hence during the recovery the end users or the SAP applications they cannot access the database. So the recovery of SAP HANA database is required in the situations like a disk in the data area is unusable or the disk in the log area is unusable or as a consequence of a logical error the database needs to be reset to its state at a particular point in time or we want to create the copy of the database. So let's see how we can recover a SAP HANA system. So for that we have to first choose the SAP HANA system. We have to right click and after that we have to go to the backup and recovery. In the backup and recovery we have the option of recover system. So if we click on this recover system it will ask us for the username and the password. So here we have to enter the username and the password. Here the type of recovery in the SAP HANA system. So we can either do the recovery for the most recent state. So it is used for recovering the database to the time as close as possible to the current time. For this recovery the data backup and the log backup have to be available since the last data backup and the log area are required to perform the above type of recovery. After that we have the point in time. So it is used for recovering the database to a specific point in time. For this recovery the data backup and the log backup have to be available since the last data backup and the log area are required again to perform this recovery. Then we have the specific data backup. So it is used for recovering the database to a specified data backup. So specific data backup is required for the type of recovery option. Specify then we have the specific log position. So this recovery type is an advanced option that can be used in the exceptional cases where the previous recovery failed. So these are the different ways of recovering your SAP HANA system. So here you have to enter the name with the, uh, you have to enter the username and the password for your administrator and then you will be able to get the different options of recovery. So in this tutorial we have discussed how we can recover the SAP HANA system what are the different options? So basically we have four different options. That is your most recent state, point in time, specific data backup and specific log position. Thank you.